part development release is that there are too many hardware variants. We've got UFI, we've got Secure Boot, we have 32-bit, uh, 64-bit. We've got uh, different means of installation and uh, we also have uh, installer where you actually can choose stuff and alter the installation therefore. So to go through all these paths, it's really tiresome to do it manually. So we've got something to do it for us. And that's what I'm going to show you. So this is how it looks like. Basically what you can see is uh, names of the tests. And you can see whether they are fa uh, how many tests did they pass and how many tests are failing. You can see better overview. You can download a whole movie of uh, how the testing went. And you can retrigger the test. And we, do when, and we do it for every image that we've got. This is an overview of the testing. You can see that we've got some tests. And during test, uh, testing uh, thingy called OpenQA takes a screenshots and saves all these screenshots at the important times. And you can then browse to them and you can see that the green ones, that's the correct one that it liked. And the red one are the ones that have some problems. So you, ca you should take a look at the red ones. Let's take a look. This is how it looked like. So we've got this screen. This is how it should look like. And it doesn't look like this. There is uh, this yellow bar. And I can take a look and how, how it actually looked like. And you can see that it's a, there is a 60% 60 60 match. But uh, somehow we lost GNOME and KDE desktops. So that's not good. So somebody should take a look at it. Because this test is obviously failing and it's, uh, the, it's failing correctly. Sometimes uh, we have false positives. When our artwork guys go wild with branding, then we don't have these matches. But uh, actually, the software is kind of cleverish. So you don't have to select everything. You can just, uh, when you are creating tests, this is how you, how you do it uh, from web interface. And you can select the area that you want to search for. And then uh, uh, testing machine will look for this selected area anywhere on the screen. So if you have some branding issue, you can just make the area smaller to avoid some collisions with uh, decorations and stuff like that. And as you can see, this is how it's saved in the end. It's some JSON. So you can even edit it manually if you have some idea. But uh, the web UI is much nicer to do that. And last thing, how the real test one uh, test uh, looks like. This this was just the te uh, just the check whether the result of the test is okay or not. Uh, this is how real test looks like. Its whole test suite is in peril. That's one disadvantage. But I hope that uh, the features actually make up for that. And uh, you can basically send some keys. Uh, you can uh, wait for image to show up somewhere on the screen. So if you are waiting for some pop-up to show, you just wait for the image. Then you can uh, use some uh, variables like username or send passwords. And you can also communicate via, uh, with the machine using serial port. And for example, if you are running some script and waiting for its output, you can wait uh, for real output, you don't have to match some uh, picture on the screen in terminal. You can redirect the output to the serial port and just wait till you get the text, correct text on the serial port. So this uh, test suite is currently used to test OpenSUSE. And uh, it's open source and it's written in a way that it's generic. So. If you install it, you can just start writing tests for Fedora and use it. 
it was written in not so nice Perl. We are we rewrote it to nicer Perl, and we are currently improving improving it even more. So, if you would like to play with automatic QA, uh, speak with me, and you can help us, and we can help you by providing you some nice test suite. So, time for questions. Yep. Uh, how does it know when to take screenshots? It takes them all the time and then just compares them. And it, uh, it uh, as I said, it uh, tries to match, if you've got uh, just a small area, it tries to find it cleverly on the screen somewhere. Okay, another question? Okay, uh, what is it testing? Uh, it is uh, running, uh, this, is, this one is testing on virtual machines only. It's running QEMU instances and it has also API which we are using whenever we build a new ISO image for installation from our devil version, we push it there and check what broke. And uh, there were some experiments with real hardware testing but uh, I don't think that it ended up in there. It was too difficult and yeah, this was simple and easier and it's good enough for now. Yeah? Uh, whether are all our tests upstream and open source? Well, uh, this thing is ours, so we are the upstream. And uh, yeah, all tests that we are running in OpenSUSE are open and open source. Uh, for SUSE Linux Enterprise, we are doing uh, some testing not only on op OpenQA, we are doing some other testing. And I'm not sure whether they are actually pushing uh, all the tests that they are running on Enterprise Linux, but yeah, for OpenSUSE, all tests are public and you can play with them, get inspired and copy them to Fedora. Okay, another question? Yep. And the uh, question is uh, what, uh, when we throw away the old results, and actually I don't know the answer. We have, we have a pretty large storage, and I think that at some point we throw them out, but either it's when disk is running uh, full or maybe there is some cron job or something. I'm, I'm not sure whether it is configurable in that I don't believe so yet, but we are planning to uh, expand the features and we are currently starting to work on it again so yeah if you are missing features you can implement them it's open source okay so thank you for your time if you have more questions after that I'm here till Sunday try to find me somewhere and grab me and we can talk and I can point you to people that actually know much more about it than I do thank you very much <laughs>